Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bram here with a redstone combination lock. So right here we've got a fully operational one and uh, I'll show you how it works. So first what we're going to want to do is hit the reset button and then it's pretty straightforward. The code is 3, 2, 1 and you come over to the door and you press open and it opens for you. You walk in and we can see everything that's going on in here. So, I mean, it, it looks confusing here, but it's really not that much work. It's really quite straightforward. And then, when you want to close the door after yourself, you can just hit the close button. And, yeah, you can just be in here for a while. The only problem is when you, until you come outside after you've been inside for a while, someone can just walk up and press the open button and it'll open. So, until you hit the reset button, it's still pretty open. So, you know. Yeah, so you can walk in, you know, walk around, open up here, close the door, and then as soon as you leave, you press reset, and then they can't get back in. So while you're in there, it's a bit, it's not that great, but as long as you, if you use it for like a vault or to store some important material, you can just keep it in there, and you can reset every time you go out. So yeah, um, now I'm going to show you how to make one. So let's go over here. So you can either do you can do any amount of buttons really, but to keep it simple. I think I'm just gonna do three. So just you don't want to put up three buttons. I'm just using wool because it's an easy material, but buttons look really good on stone. Try that out. So you're gonna want to make three buttons attached to any block you choose with a small trail of redstone behind it then you're gonna walk, wanna walk out like maybe 10, 10 block spaces, I don't know exactly what it is but you're gonna wanna make three RS NOR latches and the way you're gonna wanna do that is in a 3x3 three three square you're gonna put, wanna put one block in each corner like this then you're gonna wanna move over one block do the same thing once again and then once more And now what you want to do is this is how you actually make the latch. Is you put, well, whoops, you put a redstone uh, torch there, redstone torch there, and you connect the missing parts of the triangle with, or the uh, square with redstone. So now I'm going to do that twice more. And then once more. So yeah, they're pretty straightforward to make. They're, they're, it's not really a lot of work. I mean, I knew nothing about redstone, and already I can make this video. So, yeah. so now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to come back here. Oh, grab that egg, and you're gonna want to connect the three RS NOR latches together. And the way you're gonna want to do that is like so. You want to make three, um, or if you have three. Nor latches, you're going to want to make two of these. If you have six, you'll want to make five. And yeah, so you, you, you can choose any number of uh, of latches and buttons, which is kind of nice. But yeah. So afterwards, you're going to want to take the redstone and attach it to your latches. The reason you want to leave a lot of space, like ten blocks, is so that when you're building, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty easy to connect all of them. Otherwise, it could be pretty confusing. So now what you're going to want to do is make a reset button. So you're going to want to go to the far one and you're just going to want to make something that looks like this. I'm going to use repeaters because I don't think the the um, signal or electricity will travel far enough. Pretty much what that, pretty much what that does is it inverts the signal. So I'm just going to make two of them so it does a double invert. And then, yeah. Um, in my old one, I put it near the door so it'd be easy to access. But for this video, I'm just gonna place it here. So there we go, it's reset. Now, as you can see, um, all three of these redstone torches are off, and I'll show you what happens. Okay, just make sure it's reset. Now, when you hit the first button, you see it toggles the latch, and that light goes on. Second button toggles the latch, that light goes on, and the same thing with the third. And when you hit reset it toggles them all off again. So, uh, first I'm going to show you how to make a simple door 
I mean, th this is the one where you open it just by pressing the three buttons. The version I had over there is the one where you can use the open and close buttons, and that's a much better version. So, I'm going to show you now. Um, the door. Just for now, I'll put the door right here. Um, if it starts to get too dark, I will just go to sleep, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. And by tomorrow, I mean, like, two seconds. So you, what you're going to want to do is connect this part of the RS NOR latch up kind of over the wiring and to your door. So now I guess I'll test it one time before it gets too dark. So we're going to reset. One, two, three, and the door opens. Right now there's no closing mechanism, though, because... Well, I haven't gotten to that part yet, so just step on the uh, the reset button and close the door. So this is a very basic model. I mean, you could just get away with this. It would work pretty well, but you wouldn't be able to close the door until you exited the place. Okay, so I'm going to go to sleep now. Oh, by the way, this program is a really great one. It's called Too Many Items and In-Game Inventory Editor, and it's really worth it. I would highly suggest getting it because it's just easy. You can see you can load a pre-designated inventory, so it's kind of nice. Okay, so next thing I'm going to show you is how to make it so that you have to press all three buttons and then press another button to open the door. Fail on my part. Sorry about that. So what you're going to do is make an AND switch or latch, I don't know what it's called exactly. Pretty much it's two redstone torches on top and one on the side, a piece of redstone in the middle. You can see these two top ones are on, and the middle one is off. So what you're going to want to do is connect the same thing you connected the door to, or you were going to connect the door to, to one side. But make sure it's it goes from the ground and not like this, or else it won't work. Like so. And then on the other side, you're going to want to make your open button. Now the way I did it over here is that I put it kind of far back so that you could open the thing once you're inside. But for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to show you how to do it simply. I mean, over there, that's kind of a more house adapted. And I mean, I'm sure you're smart enough to figure out how to adapt it so that it'll work in your house or vault or something. But so I'm doing it for now. So I'll show you now. Put a door here. But yeah, and that, this is what you're gonna connect, you're gonna want to connect to is this second redstone torch or third redstone torch. So, so we're gonna go over here. We're gonna reset it, and we're gonna press three, two, one. And you can see all the redstone. It's gone. That didn't work. My bad. Oh wait, no, no. Yes, it did. Sorry, the door's sideways. Now when you press the button, it goes. Now the problem is, unless we add another RS NOR latch, it's just going to be open for a few seconds. So that's what we're going to do now. It's really quite simple at this point. It's just pretty basic. So you're going to want to make another RS NOR latch. Like so. With the input coming into this block. Now, what you're going to do is attach the redstone to a door, and you can make a closing switch by attaching a piece of redstone to the end of this torch and coming around, or yeah, at the end of the block, coming around like this and making a close button. So I'll just label them, make it easier. So this is the, pretty much the same thing I did over there, except over there, I put the redstone wire so that it would come up right next to the door. So you could walk in, you could be like open, and it would open, you could close, and it would close, but only after you put in the password. But for this one, just to show you, I'm not going to do all that extra stuff. So now I'll go reset it and show you how it's done. Actually, I don't need to reset it. Cause it's already, you can see, when you pressed all the buttons in the correct order, this turns off, and when you press this button, Turns off. So there you go. That didn't work. My bad. What am I doing wrong? Oh yeah, I didn't press the close button. You have to press the close button first time for some reason. So there, see? 
Now both were off and it inverted the signal. Now the door's open. So before this was just up here and this was just up here. That's why it looks a little different. But just walk in, press the close button, and the door closes. Now the reason I had it up here is because before I could just reach up here and press the button. And but now I can just show you here. Open, close, and it'll just keep going like that. You want to input the password again until you run over here and press the reset button. And uh, the way I put the reset button over there is I just made a little bridge and put it over near the door so it'd be straightforward to reset. So now I'm going to show you one more time the finished product. And yeah, do this with as many repeaters as you, or as many uh, buttons as you want. It's pretty straightforward once you get the hang of it. And yeah, I mean, this was only my second or third try, and I got it pretty perfect over here. So yeah. Um, Subscribe, rate, comment, and tell me what you think. See ya.